So we're sitting on board this incredible aircraft and I'm curious, what are the steps? Can you go through it with us? Sure. Well, there's, there's a few steps that we consider. One, the cabin itself, the environment the passengers experience is one stream of design. So a lot of innovations, like the chair you're sitting in, go through an industrial design process and then have to be tested to make sure that they're fit for use aboard an aircraft. So we had to redesign the chairs just to make them swivel so that we're having a very comfortable conversation. It's a very uh, complicated industrial design process followed by regulatory certifications, like if you are testing a car or any other motor vehicle that, that requires kind of a, an authorization. We then also look at, you know, the whole package of the aircraft. So how are the wings designed? What engines are we using? How does it work with, you know, the software in the cockpit so that the plane does what it's supposed to do in terms of really short field landing. So when you land on a very small runway uh, to fly extremely far, so 16, 17 hours and making sure you have that perfect balance of being able to fly far, fly fast and land safely. Okay. And so at the same time, you're thinking about mm. the customer experience, the passenger mm. experience. So a customer is spending a day in a plane like this, really a work day or a business day. Uh, so what we want to do is make sure they have high-speed internet. We have a suite of solutions that you can pick. You can stream television, you can stream meetings. I've had many meetings with colleagues who are flying aboard uh, or as tests, you just have a regular video conference like if you were in your office at home. Uh, cabin altitude is, in simple terms, the pressure you feel on your body in a plane. Because it's not jet lag that really gets you. What it is is the pressure. So when you're in a regular plane, it feels like you're at 6,000 feet in, in the air, which really is like being on top of a very high mountain where you almost need oxygen to, to continue to function. Whereas here, when you're in the global 8,000, you're gonna feel like you're at 2,900 feet. And with that is equivalent to a skyscraper. So you're not really having that strain on your body to have to adjust to changes in pressure. And that's really what makes you feel rested and refreshed when you arrive at a destination. Now, you know, some people like a cozy bed to snuggle up into, and that's important for your sleep. Uh, so because of the size of this plane, you can outfit a full dedicated, like master suite bedroom with a bed uh, as well. So between that and how the pressure really just makes you feel like you're not far off the ground, this is why it's one of the best cabins for well-being. When we're designing the actual structure of the aircraft, we know that we want people to sit in windows and not have to lean down to look out the window. You just want to turn your head and see right outside. So that really starts from when you have a clean sheet of paper in front of you and you're designing everything around the plane. So this cabin, for instance, with the ease of how the chairs work, me looking out the window, this is all done from the beginning when we just have ideas and it all goes through a multi-year process that ultimately gets us to the first delivery to our customer. Okay, how long do I have to wait and what is the process for, you know, what does it mean to get it certified, to get it So. There's a lot of things that have to happen before it gets delivered to a customer for the first time. So when we start an aircraft program, it has to go through a series of tests that involve structural integrity. We're testing how flexible the wings are. We're making sure the systems are doing what they're doing. Uh, we can even take apart the aircraft we build systems in one of our manufacturing facilities and just make the systems function thousands of times to replicate what would actually happen on the life of an aircraft once it's built. So that's types of tests that we do. We then do things, you know, the industry, we call it water ingestion. But really what that is, is we just take really big hoses and then run the aircraft through water to see how it reacts to uh, being in, you know, very harsh environments. We do cold weather testing, see how fast the plane starts, how easy it is. So all of these types of uh, inclement weather or harsh environment testing are part of uh, both validating that the aircraft does what it says it's going to do, but also will perform in real world environments to the level that authorities require. And this aircraft really does all of that. We do it extremely methodically uh, in a way that allows us to kind of keep our schedule. And then once all that's done, we go into serialized production. So you get that one certification, do all the tests with the authorities, and then we're able to just continue to build them to the same standard. So is there another step before it gets, Absolutely. before you guys buy one? So for before you actually take delivery of your aircraft, uh, we do a spec session with every customer. So you purchase a plane, but then you get to tailor it to yourself. So depending on if you'd like a dining area, if you'd like more lounge areas, the, how many people are usually flying with you, uh, you get to configure it like if you were configuring a house that you just bought. So 
configure your rooms, set your furniture, pick your fabrics, uh, pick your colors, uh, pick the systems that you want on the aircraft. Do you want to bring your own coffee machine? Uh, do you want one that's permanently installed? All those types of decisions. So we go through that process with our customers. Our designers help out as well. Uh, so if you're thinking about customers who are very tied to how they feel in their home and have spent a lot of time designing their house, we can help complement the design and the interior feel of the aircraft based on materials, textures uh, that they have in their home, in their office, or in their yacht, for instance. So it's a very personal uh, process. And then that brings you to the delivery after the specking. We build all of the interiors. So uh, one thing that you know we really take a lot of pride in is all of the seats that we do and everything that you can touch as the passenger, our teams are making it by hand. So a lot of hours goes into just crafting the interiors because we want every surface to be immaculate more than just functional. Okay, great. So would it like start to finish, what is that process? It can take, depending on the size of the aircraft, we're talking a year or more.